This disturbing footage captured a masked intruder walking into a furniture store and setting a couch on fire. Customers and workers ran to safety. He walked in, he poured fire accelerant on the couch right there, and then just lit it up. As the flames raged, a woman panics as she tries to move other pieces of furniture away from the flames. The fire damage spread upstairs. Though they successfully put out the fire, the damage was already done. Smoke filled the building and left all the furniture covered in soot. The store then had to close for a time while waiting for new inventory. The store suffered over $100,000 in damage. The arsonist's motives are unknown. Despite the carnage, the owner counted his blessings. According to the firefighters, this whole block would have been burnt down if, like, if, we, if I didn't put out the fire. Police are asking anyone for information if they recognize the suspect. In this video, a group of thieves in South Jersey shatter the glass of a gun store to gain entry. They were in and out of the business in less than two minutes. They initially tried a hammer, which didn't work. Then they hurled a rock, which got the job done. Alarms went off and the thieves knew they were on camera. So they acted quickly and didn't get greedy. They took only four handguns and some ammunition. They made their getaway in a white Hyundai, which authorities suspect was stolen because of how they got in. That, that vehicle was possibly stolen based on the fact that the uh, suspects exited the vehicle through the windows without opening the doors. Investigators examined the guns that were stolen. It's really scary because people that steal guns steal them for harmful intentions. The store closed the following day to repair the damages. This woman walks into a liquor store and slickly stuffs bottles of booze into her bag. Soon after, two other women start to do the same thing. Are they working together? Something needs to be done about these shoplifters and stealing booze of all things? What kind of party are you having? If you look up the most innovative bank robbery escapes, this should top the list. Authorities responded to a potential robbery where an alarm was set off at a credit union. However, when they arrived, the suspect wasn't in sight. there was a ruckus at the drive through area. When authorities investigated, the robber fell through the drive through roof and into a recycling bin. Get 
kind of poetic justice. This short video shows insane footage of a car crashing into a pole and flipping over. there were fortunately no serious injuries. This chilling incident transpired at a Bass Pro Shop store where a customer gathered over $2,000 worth of goods and put them in his cart. The man then walked out without paying and was completely unfazed by security measures. A clerk attempted to halt him but was ultimately shoved away. It's a shame employees have to deal with nonsense like this so frequently. This Wendy's employee was in for a surprise in this video. The vehicle you see here was driven by a person not looking to order, but to rob. The robber whips out a weapon and the employee was understandably horrified and runs away. The robber then climbs out of his car and into the Wendy's. He grabs the money from the register and swiftly drove off as fast as he could. In this video, a crazed man seen here had cruel intentions to burn down this New York City gas station. He fills up a gas carton before pouring gas onto the ground and igniting the flames. He tries to enter his vehicle, but being close to the fire, he catches some flames. <laughs> what an idiot! Lucky for him, he ended up fine and the emergency extinguishers went off. This video is insane. Five bikers pull up to a jewelry store and force their way in with axes and hammers. They grabbed all the jewelry possible and made a swift getaway. The story doesn't end there, however. Authorities were notified and acted quickly. Officers were able to locate one of the suspects just outside the city. What's the going on? They're the on us now. Okay, stand the line to me. Stand the line to me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They're raising it now. They've got batteries and everything. Is it on London Street? Yes, you need to come okay. quickly. Yeah, stand the line. Stand the line to me. Going towards Gerald. Okay, stay on the line to me. 
Go for four motorbikes. Four motorbikes. Going down now. Okay, so gone towards Gerald's, did you say? We went, wait, went towards Gerald's and went right. Yes, be quick. They're gone. There's like four motorbikes. Very small motorbikes. We covered on the back of them. Yep. We need to stop that. Just like on the vehicle. Stand by. It's on the Although it's good they got one, the others are still at large. Check out this crazy clip where a man knocks on the door of a man who stole his speaker. He gives him a choice, give it back or go to jail. The choice is yours. So you call, hey, Raya, call the cops. I want the cops here. I got a witness. You stole this. You work for Call the cops. Sign complaints on you right now, man. Hope you like jail, because that's where you're going. He got his speaker back, but still called the cops, so the thief got the punishment he deserves for stealing. This video happened in Australia, and it starts out normal with a man seemingly checking out. However, the situation takes a dark turn as the man begins a robbery. The clerk hauls scared, and the man rips the register out. As he tries to leave, bystanders step in and take the thief head on. Much love to Australia and all my viewers there. Oh, see, oh, see, oh, see, oi, oi, oi. This happened in February 2023. A Safeway worker saw a woman with around $500 worth of groceries in her cot. She offered to help but was denied. As she was clocking out, she saw the woman trying to leave without paying. The worker grabbed onto the bags to stop the thief. Then things got heated and the thief left. The worker's lawyer stated she did nothing wrong. She had that drilled into her. She knew that you don't do that. And she also was told, thou shalt not steal. Two weeks later, there was an anonymous phone call complaining about her. They went to the Safeway Board of Directors, and in their infinite wisdom, they fired her because she touched the bag. After the termination, Safeway didn't pay the unemployment benefits. She was terminated for misconduct. The two-year employee fought to get $450 a week for unemployment, and the judge was in favor of the former employee. Safeway didn't appeal the decision. Well, I've been 
and practiced for 54 years, and this is the cruelest case I've ever seen involving an employee. This customer got into a heated exchange with a drive through clerk. The customer went as far as hurling food and spitting at the window in the direction of the clerk. Do you ever wonder what happens when fire suppression systems at a gas station fail? That's what happened at this Massachusetts gas station when these vehicles were drenched in a foam out of nowhere. Look at how it started. It would have been fine if there was a fire, but with no fire, it made a huge mess. In this video, a clerk suspected this person was shoplifting and decided to take action. The clerk demanded the woman empty her purse and it was revealed that there was numerous stolen goods inside the purse. Upon discovery, the woman tried to dart out of there, but that wasn't happening on this clerk's watch. Watch this insane tussle. No, stop. Dump it up right now. I will. This is not okay. Yeah, you know what, else is not okay? Stealing from us. Kudos to that worker, though. This is an interesting approach. A man requested all of the money in this man's pockets. He asked if he was being robbed, and he said, Not yet. What a way to put that. And it doesn't stop there, as the man demanded weed. And when he doesn't comply, things get crazy. All that. Where the weed at, bro? I ain't got no weed. This happened in Charlotte. March 2021, U.S. Marshals in Charlotte were determined to apprehend fugitive Frankie Jennings. Jennings was wanted for several things, such as assault with a deadly weapon on a cop. This footage shows Jennings leaving the car and it appears he had an accomplice, as you see him go over to the vehicle next to him and begins pumping gas before two undercover cops come pulling in.
Frankie at first puts his hands up before making an attempt to get into his car and drive off. It was later found out that he was going for a weapon in his car. One of the marshals was ready and drew his weapon. That would be the end of Jennings' life. CCTV footage shows a hooded man at 2 a.m. as he makes an attempt to rob this house. He examines the front before going around the house and finding a way inside before two others joined him. He broke in and stole 50 euros. All that effort. Might as well get a job, kid. This happened on December 14, 2018. A group of thieves had an aggressive approach planned for this jewelry store heist. They used their white BMW to ram into the front of the store. Five men with machetes and hammers then exit the vehicle and executed their robbery, stealing all types of jewelry. They made their getaway in a vehicle that was later found burnt out. A father and son, Connor and Elliot Burton, were arrested for being associated with the gang in this robbery. They claimed they weren't involved, but the jury disagreed. Police are on the lookout for the robbers. This is wild. CCTV shows two thieves at a shoe store overnight for over 20 minutes. They stole all kinds of valuable shoes that combined for at least $100,000 worth of shoes. They made their getaway in a white BMW. It was quite evident they knew what they were doing. They weren't no rookies. This wasn't the first time either, as the store was hit in 2019. The pandemic hurt the business too. And now, this? The owner was understandably left in tears. Sneakers is my dream, you know, streetwear is my dream. We've been pushing that side of it and now we just, we don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. You know, we have to look at everything and see how we can. This isn't just some store either. This store held events for UCLA and hosted Easter egg hunts as well. I hope that business bounces back. For sure. To have nice things for people to come in, damage it like that, it's kind of disrespectful. This happened in Adelaide, South Australia, home of the great Ray Ripley. Off topic, but it's mommy. Come on. Anyways, this man walks into a store and takes $5,000 worth of meat off the shelves. He starts out looking like a normal customer before stuffing meat into his jacket. He plays it smart too by paying for something small at the cash register. Clever thief. If you ever feel your local fast food joint has bad customer service, just know it can be worse. This jack-in-the-box clerk pulled out a weapon and fired a round at a customer. If you were wondering, it's because the customer wanted his order corrected. He wanted curly fries instead of regular fries, and this set him off, which is just crazy to hear. It was late at night when this group of thieves targeted a shoe store. They used some kind of tools to gain entry through the front door. They went in and swiftly stuffed their bags with all the shoes possible. These thieves were clearly experienced. This is from our very first break-in. This is from our third break-in. The business suffered financially, and this is a great example of why it's important to have great security. Some people are fortunate to survive crazy crashes like this. A truck that appeared to be speeding rammed into the semi, causing an explosion.
This is after the aftermath of the crash. Just pure carnage as you see the truck completely melted down. This McDonald's worker is a legend for leaping out the drive through window to come to the aid of an off-duty cop having an emergency on the other side. He tried to hand the food over, but the car kept going, which was an immediate red flag. He made an effort with no hesitation to make sure she was all right. Check out how this person filming noticed two suspicious individuals and confronted them. Give this guy a medal. There's two little mugs of walking around the avenue and trying people's doors in this. This cunt here. I've just given Obviously, I've just clipped his face off because he's been trying people's doors like a little he is. You're a junkie, mate. He's a boy. What are you planning on doing with that, like? What are you planning on doing on that? Yeah, Look at the What are you have, planning on doing with that, like? On You're a house. mug, mate. If I see you trying people's doors again, I'm going to snap your jaw off. Yeah. Off. off. If I was a junkie, I'd have more style out Honestly, I'm just... Things started out normal in this jewelry store clip. However, these two men here are posing as customers and had sinister intentions. The owner had a hunch and was preparing his weapon in the event that something ain't right. As the men examine the store, the owner is prepared to stop them if they try to bolt out. The man whipped out a knife on the owner, but the employee behind the counter swiftly whipped out his own weapon and chased the thieves out. Heads up reactions from the employees. In this video, we see a man walking around the store grabbing a bag of chips and then a self-checkout grabs a handful of cash and hauls ass. Bystanders attempted to halt him, but he was too quick. This happened at Wendy's and they got an unexpected surprise, an alligator. This Florida man hurled the creature through the drive through window, giving the Wendy's employees a scare of a lifetime. How often do you get an alligator through your window? In this video, two hooded and masked individuals burst into a gas station store with one thing in mind, to rob. In the blink of an eye, they got the cash and bolted to the exit. One was carrying a long and the other one didn't appear to have anything with him. Um, they came in and demanded cash from the register, got the money and ran out. Crazy thing is, the same two individuals emerged again at the same store. They must have wanted to challenge themselves this time by using a different weapon. On their way out, one of them dropped change that was apparently from the first robbery. This time it was just a smaller hand. There was no long exposed. Um, one of the suspects had a, uh, a backpack, but this time they had also taken the little coin thing that's on the register and taken that too and ran out. And there were other people in the business during this. Christmas may be the time of giving, but not to this thief. A man in a Santa outfit climbed through the KFC drive through window, proceeds to the back room and uses a knife to intimidate the employee to give him all of the money. He got the cash and made his escape. Check out this insane video of individuals casually walking out of a store with valuables they didn't pay for. The first person wasn't wearing a mask, and the second person glanced at the camera with not a care in the world. A brave soul tried to stop them but was unsuccessful. They left with big designer bags. In another clip, a shoplifter stuffed a bag with goods at a drugstore. Security tried to stop him but was unsuccessful. In yet another clip, 
A Best Buy clerk tussled with a customer who had stolen goods in his backpack. These stores are going through hell with these thieves. Guys, I want to see how far you guys get. They have no care in the world. They strolled out. They knew that they weren't going to get uh, arrested. These criminals, they go into the store, they probably have their calculator. Oh, I'll steal $850 worth of merchandise and nothing's going to happen to me. It is totally insane. This video shows a man in red stealthily approaching a drive through He walks up to the passenger side of this vehicle and runs off after a swift robbery. Crashes happen. You can argue that the least ideal place to crash is a gas station. The likelihood of an individual crashing into this tiny gas station is low, but not impossible. There's just two pumps, but they become the target for destruction one Sunday morning. Out of nowhere, a car crashes into the pump and sets the place on fire. If you blinked, you probably missed it. The fire might not seem like much, but any fire is a serious matter, especially with gas there. This security guard is collecting cash from the store. Pretty normal, right? Moments later, he opens the money truck and four armed individuals emerge out of nowhere <laughs> the driver notices and swiftly drove off. The guard, however, was not so lucky as he's patted down and forced to give up what he had. No serious injuries were suffered and the thieves are still at large. This woman was visibly displeased when someone cut in line in front of her at a McDonald's drive through in Richmond. The footage begins with the woman shouting at the driver recording. After the shouting match, the raged woman throws a bottle of water at the car's driver. Get off the car. If you thought that was crazy, wait until you see what she does next. The video cuts there, but the crazed woman didn't stop there. Authorities stated that the woman dragged the driver 150 feet away from the vehicle and delivered a beating. At this gas station, three masked and hooded individuals burst in and aimed their weapons at the attendants, demanding all the money. In this video, four masked, hooded individuals stormed this jewelry store at 2 p.m. in broad daylight, taking everything there was to take. It was a normal day, turned into a frightening one for those in the store in the blink of an eye. This heist took just two minutes before the suspects got their getaway vehicle and drove off. The owner had just launched the store a year and a half earlier and installed security systems and cameras. Because of this incident, 
She's considering shutting the store down permanently. What a shame. You have to keep your head on a swivel at an ATM machine, and this is 100% proof of that. This woman is reaching out to use the machine, then out of nowhere, a man with a weapon emerges to rob her and obtain money she got from the ATM. Fortunately, she was swift with her thinking and drove off before any harm could be done. Thank God. This clip shows entitlement at its finest, as the person standing in line with a cup of coffee hurled his cup at the man at the register because he was frustrated for having to wait in line. The elderly man was angered by this. The elderly man followed him out of the store and confronted him and the entitled man came back and struck him, taking him down instantly. Bystanders had confronted him and the police apprehended the crazed man for assault and battery. All this could have been avoided if the man had just waited in line and wasn't an entitled prick. A smoke and vape store in Dallas underwent a robbery by none other than teenagers. A 15 and 16 year old with ski masks marched in with weapons and one of them in white demands all the money. What if I told you this same group hit this exact store two weeks later? Pretty wild, huh? This group is responsible for eight robberies in a one-month span, with a high tendency to hit tobacco stores, all in broad daylight. Good news is, warrants are out for all of their arrests. Police aren't messing around, and hopefully they get caught soon. We feel terribly for the victims of these crimes, and we feel terribly that they even occurred. At this community should be very proud of this police department for doing what they did, particularly in taking these individuals off the street uh, before they could continue uh, their crime spree, uh, and that could have at some point cost someone's life. This gas station clip starts out crazy as a man covered up uses a sledgehammer to force his way into the store. They make a beeline for the register, but things didn't go as planned. They go to another gas station close by, and this time they got some money before slipping and falling on the way out. It is like idiotic behavior. One week later, the same station was hit this time by two men. They finesse their way around security wires and make off with SIGs and money. On top, it increased our insurance cost. We've got to do all we can to support victims. We also have to fix the broken Youth Justice Act. We've got to turn around and get more police on the... The station suffered financially in loss of products and needing repairs. What a shame. I really hope they catch those guys and deal with them. It's scary how things are seemingly normal before disaster strikes. Watch and see what I mean. What appeared to be a normal exchange took a turn for the worst as customers whip out weapons and wound the employee for no apparent reason. Why would they do that? Not only are these more charges, but they're just harming people for no apparent reason. This shoplifting Karen in a Walmart was confronted by a brave individual. The woman filled her bags with goods. The woman's excuse is unbelievable. Listen to this. Buddy. I couldn't find my friends. Oh, yeah. what else do you have in your purse? You, you might want to think about your decision right now. Right. Well, I'm not because I don't I don't work for I'm the store, so I don't have to follow Walmart's policy for shoplifting. All right, I'll hold you down on the ground until you take everything out of your purse. So why don't you go ahead and put everything out of your purse right now before I do something about it? Because I'm getting pretty sick of seeing shoplifters in here. Do you understand me? I don't blame you. I wasn't shoplifting. I wasn't. You got some ID store. on you? Why don't you go ahead and pull out your ID for me? I've already I'm already recording her right now. What's your name? Go ahead and pull out your ID for me. Yeah. You, all you have is your social security card? Yeah. This, this is your name right here? Huh? 
Your kids? Are your kids in the car? Sure. Your what? I wasn't leaving. You what? You weren't you? So you were just stuffing everything in your purse? No, I hadn't. I was trying out that purse. You were trying out that purse by stuffing all the merchandise and makeup in that purse? I was holding it. Huh? You were holding it for who? Who else are you here with? You're not here with anybody I'm else. So, so what are you doing? Here? The man notifies the employees, and the Karen makes a run for it. You're shoplifting, aren't you? No, I wasn't. You're shoplifting. Hey, can I get a manager? Can you call a manager? I got your social security card. You're gonna leave without your social security card? Hello? Hello? <laughs> this is a sad and shocking video. A deli worker, Barry, was asked by the man seen here for a free cigar unwilling to pay. Barry rejected him and the customer left. He would eventually return with a weapon and fired a round into Barry, wounding him in the head. Regulars who shopped there were saddened and stunned by this situation. I'm just sad. I used to see him in the store like every day. He was just always really nice. Always nice, always complimenting me, always helping with the bags, helping with the stuff in the store. I see him every day. I come here every day. I see him. He's always in the store working, sweeping. He don't bother nobody. When Barry's mother heard about the event, she knew it was over something meaningless. The guy asked him to buy him a black and mild, and he said no, and they started to argue. The, I don't know what the argument was about, but the whole attitude was they couldn't accept no. So from what I hear, they went. In this video, a customer shows a fire that transpired in Target. Listen to the customer's perspective of the situation. The Target, we seen a small flame. We thought it was a you know Halloween prop, but as we got closer, we heard a pop, which was a sprinkler going off. And then all of a sudden, the flame got bigger, so I started recording. Uh, we walked around, you know, a couple uh, racks, and we realized that it was clothing that was on fire. Fortunately, the sprinkler system went off, and a clerk got a fire extinguisher, putting out the flames, and no one was injured. Investigators say that the fire is suspicious and are working on finding the source. In this disturbing video, a slick robber would succeed in a luxurious and swift heist, leaving nearby customers and employees stunned. It began as normal. The man made small talk with those nearby before pulling as many jerseys off as he could and made a quick getaway. For those that don't watch sports, just know that jerseys are worth a lot of money. He ran off into a black truck and got away really fast. He had a couple in his hand, was asking about sizing for them, which is unique because um, these jerseys in themselves are not, they're wearable, but they're not meant to be worn. It's difficult. We've done a lot to try and make this a very family-friendly environment. It's very unsettling when you get the phone call and that somebody has broken in. Um, but it's one of those where we've thought for each and every incident is, is that that no one got hurt. Fortunately, we have a very solid and a very loyal customer base. Um, so we're able to regroup a little bit with that and we appreciate all those that continue to support us. This goes to show you that even in a seemingly normal circumstance, you need to remain on high alert. Authorities are on the lookout for a bold thief who has robbed several Home Depots and made off with around $10,000 worth of valuables. Here is the suspect police are looking for who had stolen thousands worth of electronic items from Home Depot. Listen to this customer who was in disbelief. It looked like he wheeled it in in a suitcase and I couldn't believe they couldn't stop him. And that would be what CCTV footage caught this man doing. Using a suitcase to take circuit breakers. Three instances police say tie back to him. The thief began January 27th, starting with the suspect using a plastic bag to steal $2,000 worth of merchandise. The next day, he was caught loading items into this big suitcase, $6,000 worth of items at that. He was caught leaving with a white SUV or Mazda. Police are on the lookout. It's sad on the, the, the companies themselves, it's sad for the families and for these children who are actually ruining their lives. I think it's a, sad, it's a sad state of affairs when you can't go grab a thing of Tide without calling the manager to come. This happened on February 21st, 2023. In the middle of the night, three hooded men broke into a medical dispensary in Florida. They quickly looted as much inventory as they possibly could before they returned to their getaway vehicle, where they would go to their next destination to loot.
yes, another. They would break into yet another dispensary and stole even more goods. What sick individuals. Imagine you're flying home and you forget your carry-on bag. That was the case for Karen Brooks. Brooks was flying home to LA after attending a funeral in New Orleans. He turned in a lost bag claim, but the bag was never found. Brooke wanted answers and to see CCTV footage. What happens next is crazy as a Spirit Airlines worker took his bag behind the counter. She even dumped some of the items in the garbage, including medication required for survival. This is why you fly American Airlines. Two men stole a bike and loaded it into their car. Unbeknownst to them, the owner was aware and he would confront them and what happened next is insane. Hey, give me my bike! Give me my bike, now! That's my bike! Check it out the back now, cops are on the way! The passenger tried to explain that he wasn't involved but the owner wasn't having it and was still in rage. No, take it off the car now! Take it off the car! Take it off! Take it off now! Take it off now! Take it off now! Take it off! Get out the car! Get out the car! Get out the car! Get out! Get out! I don't give a Get out of the car! Get out of the car! I don't give a Get out now! Get the out! I don't give a I didn't help him. I don't give a Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Get my shit down. Help him get my shit down. Help him get my shit down. Guess these guys will think twice before stealing someone else's property. This video is one of the most interesting bus rides you'll ever see. Two women sit next to each other, one of whom is the owner of a lingerie store and the other a supposed shoplifter. The owner hopped on the bus to confront her and things get heated. We're going to follow her to her house because she says she's going to pay for it there, right? Yes. Sophia Roma is the owner and the employees notified her of the alleged theft. Sophia followed her onto the bus and made a viral video she posted to social media confronting the lady. Played a game called Look in the Thief's Purse. So let's look to see what she has. Stop. Oh, she also took a skirt. You look at me like I'm crazy and you stole from me. The irony. This happens all the time. This happens all the time, but usually I'm not in a position to do something about it. Sophia notified the authorities and they were waiting for her at the bus stop and arrested her. The suspect is due in court on August 29th. This could be the biggest case of down bad I've ever seen. This man stole gas out of another person's car when he himself had run out of fuel. The car owner would catch him in the act and confronted him. Take a look. Sorry, or was he sorry he got caught? Either way, stealing someone else's gas is unacceptable, especially when you consider gas prices today. In this video, a police officer entered a store and went to the cooler and grabbed a Kiwi Guava energy drink, which I also love. Sounds pretty normal, right? Well, the officer simply left the store without paying for the drink, oblivious to the fact that he was on CCTV. This guy officer said he's gonna pay for his stuff. I'm like, what? I said maybe he forgot or something. So he keep walking. The employee was stunned and let the owner's wife who was there know. She gave the guy the benefit of the doubt that he had forgotten to pay and went out to inform him. However, he just drove off. Ignore us too, and he just took off. Coincidentally, the owner is a big supporter of the Philadelphia police and even has a cop friend who he notified about the situation. The cop friend was surprised and reported him. He was shocked. He approached his officer, his uh, supervisor right away, and they want me to make the official report for that. We're facing so much shoplifting, so much robberies, and so many, you know, uh, uh, stealing. Law enforcement is supposed to be here to help us, to protect us, not to take away from us something. So that was very shocking for us. The officer is currently under investigation. 
In this video, a woman is seen exiting a liquor store with a stolen bottle, before a man who follows the Fear Tales motto of Stay Vigilant Friends confronted her. The woman made excuses like she's homeless, and the man stated that if she was really homeless, shouldn't she have stolen food? He even offered to pay for the alcohol, but the woman wouldn't stop using vulgar language towards him. Watch this. Don't touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't touch me. You'll be arrested. You'll be arrested. You'll be arrested for assault. I'm sorry, lady, but you, you can't steal liquor out of a store. You can't steal. You can't steal liquor out of the store. You should have stole food. That's what you should have stole. Still, I got the heart. I have a heart. You know what? I'll pay for it. I'll pay for your f***ing liquor. How much is the liquor? How much is the liquor? It's a bottle of vodka and whatever else she grabbed. You know what? I, <laughs> I was going to pay for it, but I changed my mind. Please do. Well, I'm not paying for it now. How much is the liquor? How much is it? I think it's huh? Yeah, you shouldn't be stealing it. Why didn't you buy? Why didn't you get some food? I know you're homeless, but you know what? No, I'm not helpless. Why don't you put? Why don't you give it back? Give it back to me right now. Give it back to me right now. At least this concluded with the man getting the bottle back and hopefully it went to someone who did the right thing and paid. This happened in September 2021 and shows officers who were called to Taco Bell because of a peculiar situation. They were notified about a woman who had passed out behind the wheel at the drive-thru. This of course backed up the entire line. Watch as the officer knocks on the window attempting to wake her up. Hello, can you roll down your window? Your window. Your window. It was quite evident when she woke up that she wasn't in a clear state of mind. She smelled like alcohol and her eyes were bloodshot. The car wasn't even in park, but in neutral. Police discovered alcohol in the back seat and knew the woman was driving under the influence. She attempted to shut the door and start the car, but was unsuccessful and was helped out of the car. You need to put your car in park. Okay. What's going on? Ready to go home. Okay, we're going to have you step outside the vehicle. Okay. No, you're not going to. We're going to have you step outside the vehicle, okay? Okay. How can I go? Nope. You're going to step outside the vehicle. I need you to step outside the vehicle. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nope, nope. This is the last time I'm going to ask you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so at this time you are under arrest. She give permission to move her car. Hi. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll get you your keys, okay? All right. Thank you. You just want to get that real quick. And then oh, okay. right inside the uh, passenger side. And even while you're back here, you're still being audio and video recorded, okay? Okay. The woman was then arrested. In this video, a man in all black stole dozens of smartphones in a store in San Francisco. He put the phones in his pocket before swiftly exiting the store. There was no police presence and considering the man was well covered, I'm not quite sure if he'll get caught. Entitlement is a trait too common in today's world. The audacity of this woman to pull out her phone and blame staff when she got caught stealing is insane. Watch this. Office phone number and you just told me right that if I don't want to wait, I can leave. Is that what you just said? You can't wait on me to talk to you. And it, I said my time is important as hers and I was here before her. Step right here. 
We'll take care of it. No, you, you can step right, right here because this is where I was and you walked off while I was talking Man, to you. We've got people to wait on. If you'll get right there, I'm going to focus just on you. Right over here. 800-390-40. Okay. Right over here. 390 40. Someone got That's this off the shelf. That's not my problem. I cannot sell I it. I picked up this item. It was on there priced by mistake, not once, but twice. By a twice. customer, and I'm not going to sell it to you that price. I'm not. Okay, then get your corporate office on the phone because when you nope. price if something you call, incorrectly, you have to pay for it. We didn't do it. Somebody it. put that on there. That's not my problem. It is not the only one Ma that was I'm best. Not sell like it to you. you call the 800 number that's on my hour time. No, I asked for your area number, your area director. Aiden, she is out of town today. It doesn't matter. She has a cell phone, and that cell phone is public yeah. knowledge. Yes, it is because I'm not I applied give you for you guys. Number. If you don't want this, we're done. Hey, Alana. If you don't want it, we're done. If you want to call the corporate number, it's on that right there. Someone got a sticker and put it on there, and I'm not going to sell that at that price. That sticker was put on there by somebody else. And the only person that has the sticker guns to put it on there is your employees. No, that was cool and that is No, it was not. And that's not the first time I've come in here and you all have had something on that clearance rack that is priced incorrectly because your other manager, the little girl that has the blonde hair, before she was demoted, I come in here and I got 17 items off of there and every one of those 17 items was priced incorrectly. So don't tell me it doesn't happen because it does. And then for you to be as disrespectful to walk off while I'm in the middle of a conversation with Do you, you because of something that you all did incorrectly did to help another customer is bad customer service. Someone else put that on there and we're not And then I'm that. asking you for your area manager's number and you're refusing to give it to me. That's exactly and if right. I call the corporate office, they're going to give it to me because they're going to say, you have to go through the area, the chain of command. You're going to have to call the then corporate call office. The call the number. Call the number. Mama, can we open our toys? Ma'am, I've seen you in here before. I shop in here a lot, and I never have a problem. So for me to have a problem today, then that's an I've issue. I've seen you with type of situation in here before. You are a liar. I remember. You're a liar because every time I come in here, half the time you're so incoherent, you don't even know what you're doing. And when you do know what you're doing, and you ring are me you up, we have no problems. I remember you from the last time we had a conversation. The last you time were we were wanting to do some things that we couldn't do. And what was those? What were those things? What were those things? Please remind me. Okay. What you're going to need to do. Is no. What you're going to need to do is customers. give me hey, your area manager's phone customers. number. Ring Move out of the way. You should check on this side right over here, ma'am. I'm not kidding with you. Leave my store. Call the police. Leave my store. Do you need me to call them for you? Mama. Do you need me to call them for you? Listen, you're not going to be a smart ass with me. Uh, you just call me a smart ass? I said you're not going to be one. What gives you the right to call me a smart ass? I'm not calling you one. I'm telling you, you you're not going to You just said it, and you're being recorded. So I have proof that you just called me a me. smart ass. No, I didn't. I said you're not going to be one. No, you said you're not going to be a smart ass. That's what you say. I said you're not going to be one with me, and I'm calling them right now. Good. Because you're refusing please, to leave my store. Please do. Please do. I need you holding just a minute. I need you to send an officer by my store. I have an irate customer that refuses to leave the store after being ordered. Now he's a liar. I'm the manager, Mr. Hughes. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Despite being recorded, this man was determined to steal all the valuables he could, stuffing them into his bag. He's stealing everything. Where are you going, guy? Don't do this. Hey, stop it. Hey, this is not. Hey, stop it. 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 Stop it.
several customers attempted to stop the thief, but he was able to simply walk away with a large bag of products. You can make the case that fast food workers don't get paid enough for the nonsense they have to put up with. This Raisin King's drive through worker was confronted by an angry customer, recording who then committed a disgusting act. Why you didn't take my order? No, I didn't. You didn't say no cameras. Yeah, what are the cameras at? What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Show us right now. You can't prove it. You can't prove it. You can't prove it. You can't prove it. 911 to do what? A passenger was recording, and the men in the car were not pleased having to wait in line. They skipped the line, and the manager refused to serve them, leading to this heinous act. These people were horrible. In this video, five hooded men broke into a San Fran dispensary. CCTV captures the men quickly stealing anything and everything they could get their hands on. Take a look. they would eventually get in their getaway vehicle. The estimated amount of money worth of goods is unknown, but it is surely enough to leave this poor business hurting. In this video, things get heated at an in-and-out drive through between angry customers. It went from a verbal exchange to drinks being tossed. The bottles contained water, juice, and even bleach. <laughs> Employees had to intervene due to the confrontation getting too wild. How would you react if this was your drive through As we all know, most thieves just don't care and they feel invincible. That was the case with these individuals who nonchalantly entered this local gas station. Not even disguised, by the way, and loaded his bag with goods and walked out without paying. The manager made a point of emphasis that enough was enough and the next time, the thief was locked in and what happened next is wild. You think he learned his lesson? Nope. He returned the bag of goods and just took one drink to steal. That's better, right? A few minutes later, he kicks the door open and escapes. In this video, a car bursts into flames in the parking lot of a Walmart. The cause of the flames is unknown, 
but the flames grow rapidly. Two individuals who seemingly were in the car when the fire began backpedal away from the vehicle. The individual recording asked if they're alright and they specified they had tools valued at thousands of dollars inside. Then a sudden explosion happens. He knows what's in his truck. Yeah, but he's... Are you okay? Hey, get away from the truck, man! Firefighters show up, but the damage was already done. This video is utter chaos at a McDonald's. Hooded individuals stormed in and unleashed havoc. One of the individuals went as far as pulling the cash register and hurling it into the streets. Observe. There was some wild stuff going on uh, yesterday. I feel like it was hot. it got a little hot for a second, and there was a lot of people crowded together, and that probably created you know some type of animosity or. I don't know. That's unfortunate for sure. I'm also a man of God, so you know, I try not to fear anything but God, but at the same time, you got to be smart, you got to be cautious. I've seen a video of that on Instagram. It's crazy because I, I think I left like right around that same time. A 19 year old was arrested, and the authorities are on the hunt for the others who were involved. This happened in St. Louis. A family owned jewelry store was broken into just three weeks before Christmas. One of the robbers was on the lookout while the others shattered the glass to break into the store. The thief quickly took valuables from the display cases. The robbery took just two minutes before the men made an escape on foot. No getaway vehicle was needed. The owner of the store was understandably stunned. Under two minutes they were in and out, smash and grab. Two suspects, one watching out and then one broke the window, came in and then broke this uh, case here, took all the rings out of this case, then went over to this case over here, took some sterling silver um, rings out of this case, and then went to this case here and took a, uh, a, some sterling silver out of this case and then fled on foot. Watch your stores, make sure that everything's locked up at night and make sure that if you got cameras, keep watching them as much as you can. But this can happen to anybody. We've been here almost 10 years now and nothing like this has ever happened. Keep, be vigilant, that's all I can really say. Small business owner, you know, this, this doesn't just hurt my business, it hurts our family too. What makes this even more painful is the following day would have been the owner's late father's 82nd birthday. The men weren't caught, but authorities are on the lookout. In this video, we have a couple that claims their Walmart is haunted and that they may have some valid evidence. The couple had just got done shopping like normal, then suddenly, they heard a scream from behind the store and went to investigate. They found nothing but decided to film a video of the peculiar nature of the store. Hi, me and my boyfriend were shopping at Walmart, and then on our way out we heard some weird sounds, and now we're over here investigating trying to figure out what it was. As the video goes on, the cart moves by itself. An older gentleman. What the f what? Are you serious? You could argue wind, but this cart wasn't just moving in one direction. It was moving in a circular motion, which isn't normal. The cart continued to move, which freaked the couple out, and they left. Yeah, I mean, I, there's nothing weird with it. I, I don't see nothing weird with the cart at all. What the f hold on, hold on a second, what? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Is it moving? To be honest, I don't blame them one bit. This happened in Florida on July 20th, 2023, and shows a gas station attendant being stuck up. At 5 a.m., an armed individual entered the store and demanded all of the cash. He wisely wore a mask and hat to protect his identity. The robber kept his eyes and weapon on the clerk at all times. Locals were stunned by such a disturbing robbery taking place in what's usually a quiet neighborhood. 
CCTV footage shows a hooded man with a weapon entering a Metro PCS store. He aimed his weapon at staff, demanding money. The staff had no other option than to give him the money, which is a wise move. No job is worth your life. In this video, a woman was shopping in Walmart before a group of individuals gathered some items and exited the store without paying for the goods. However, the woman channeled her inner superhero and chased after the thieves. She hopped onto the thieves' vehicle and started stomping on the windshield. The thieves weren't phased, however, and they still drove away, and the woman was forced to leap off the vehicle. Her actions did serve a purpose, though, as the authorities were able to identify the vehicle. Arrests were made, and the woman received praise. The woman stated she was appalled by the situation and felt she had to do something. There is still some good in this world, and this woman is proof. Abductions have become an epidemic. Not every victim sees freedom again like this one in this video. This happened in Alabama and shows a car pulling into a gas station for some gas. The driver exits and walks off to check out the store. Soon after, the trunk opens out of nowhere and a woman sprints out. CCTV footage shows the man sprint out as the woman runs into the store. He didn't attempt to capture her again, but instead, his priority was escaping. Unannounced to him, he was already caught on camera. The victim was Brittany Diggs. She used a light to find the release pump that helped her escape, and thank God for that. I wonder how he got her in the trunk in the first place. We have some unbelievable footage of countless individuals raiding a 7-Eleven store. Prepare for one of the craziest things you'll ever witness. There was countless damage done. I don't think anyone at that 7-Eleven did anything to justify the actions of these people. CCTV shows three women in a JC Penny with countless pairs of jeans at hand. You might think they were going to pay for them, right? Wrong. They just walked out without paying. Approximately 38 pairs of jeans uh, were taken and then they uh, just walk out because they're entering into the structure uh, with the intent to steal. A lot of times I figure it's just bootleg stuff, but I'm sure there's plenty of that going on too. I mean, you know, $2,000 worth of jeans is a lot of money. Shoplifting has been getting more and more out of hand, and this incident is proof. The theft of clothing has essentially become planned heists like bank robberies. There's no better way to display your displeasure with McDonald's than by ramming your vehicle into the drive through menu repeatedly.
There's no context here. But I will say, this guy has some serious issues he needs to get sorted out. You have to order food before you can get mad at them for messing it up. In this video, an armed and hooded man enters a Metro PCS store wielding a weapon used on the clerk demanding money. The clerk didn't have a choice but to give up the money. The man leaves and the clerk is stunned. Employees should never have to go through this. In this bone-chilling footage, two CVS clerks are urgently calling authorities as looters are about to pounce on their store. Then it happened. It was utter chaos. Some stormed the aisles for goods and others seeked cash from the registers. One looter was frantically pushing over shelves too. But 911, what is the address of your emergency? Uh, we're getting break, breaked into CVS on 30th and Fowler. Riot. 30th and Fowler? Yep. How many people are there? Yeah. There's a lot of people. <laughs> All right, are they inside already? They are. They broke into the pharmacy and they're still in the register and everything. We, we evacuated the store. We're out of the store. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. I got you. Sorry, I, I tried to. I don't know where. I didn't know where you were. I'm sorry. <laughs> the hardest part is you feel helpless as an observer, uh, watching from here, uh, wishing you could have been there. Uh, that's why we're working so hard right now. Did they threaten you guys? Did they show any weapons? No, no. They, they, they left us alone. They left us alone. We didn't talk to them. We didn't interact with them. They just went around us and did whatever they're going to do. In the midst of the carnage, the manager was able to help the trapped employees escape. This drive through swiftly became a crime scene after rounds were fired at the driver recording. Two men aggressively approached the car, and this happened. There's somebody! Whoa, dude. Chill this the tell me you walk up to your car and eat. Did somebody tell you? Get the out of here! Bring it! <laughs> As the man backed up to leave, the man fired three rounds at him. A liquor store was vandalized by a bunch of looters. It took just minutes for authorities to arrive and make several arrests. A police dog even had to get involved. One cop was in tears due to the empathy of the owner who is his friend. For I cried, the officer cried, and that what made me cry. And I said, this is not what is supposed to happen in our country. You know, it's all about safety. I don't care, you know, this, this can be replaced. Life cannot. As the owner and clerks cleaned up, they found two looters hiding in the back. Call them up. Call them up. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. They're hiding on here. They're inside. They're hiding. Two guys in here. Right here. These are right here. Come on out. 
I saw some movement in the top. I said, wait a minute, we don't have nothing up there. What's moving? Officers arrested the men and discovered a weapon in one of their backpacks. An insane incident unfolded due to speculation that a Taco Bell worker slipped rat poison inside a customer's food. This transpired following a disagreement between a customer and a clerk regarding the soda machine, which could be the cause of the employee not using his head and retaliating due to anger. What's going on, sir? These guys are mouthing off to me. Okay. Let me do my order. Okay. And the issue at hand is I had an order with them, and I was taking the order with them. I'm a little pissed off right now. I sure see that. Yeah. I took an order. I paid for my stuff. But these guys are all coming out here yelling and screaming, calling me names. I have them on video, and they're telling me that I'm mad and that I'm calling them names. They came out to me first. Okay. Was your order wrong or something? Yeah. Or what? They, they, don't, they don't have any carbonation in here. So I, I, I always get to number two. It's got a three soft tacos and a freeze. I upgrade to a freeze. They don't okay. have it. So the issue at hand is that they want to sit there and tell me that, well, it's, it's a, up, it's a, they're going to give me something different, like tea. I don't want tea. Oh. Apparently it's all locked up. Going. Pretty good. How many employees do you guys have here right now? Four. Four. Okay. Um, can I come in for a bit? Yeah, come on. So, what's happening is um, you guys are actually being shut down right now. Uh, we have our supervisors on the way out and our investigations team as well. So, I need all your employees to come out to the front here and just have a seat. Um, so, it's going to be for um, an investigation we have going on right now. Um, it's going to relate to the poisoning situation. Poisoning? Yes, but right now, so, and I'm going to let somebody else elaborate on that. Uh, but right now, I need all of the employees to just go ahead and shut everything down and come out to the front. The customer was taken to a hospital and indeed had rat poison inside him. Who tries to knock off fast food customers with rat poison? In broad daylight, a group of robbers burst into this store. One robber hopped the counter for the register, only to find out it was locked. Watch as an employee emerges and gets items thrown directly at him. They even went as far as tossing a garbage can before escaping the store. This happened in Maplewood, New Jersey. Overnight, at an Arby's, a hooded man shattered the glass of a door to gain entry and would walk out with not one, but two cash registers. That wasn't enough, as the next night, he breaks into a pizza joint and steals the money, then escape through a black SUV. The workers were left stunned. There's glass all over the place, you know, there, I, had to, I had to wipe and clean everything. I mean, it's such a small space that there was glass everywhere. Dozens of customers who heard about the incident stopped to offer help, which was a kind gesture. The owner did have a positive outlook on the situation, though. Listen to this. Yeah, I looked at it as I'm, I'm happy nobody came in here at 4 o'clock afternoon, possibly with a gun. I might have a 17-year-old young young person working you know four o'clock in the morning nobody was here go and do what you got to do get out he's grateful the robbery didn't transpire when his place was open which his employees could have been harmed that's a great way to look at it he sounds like a really good guy houston police released this footage to the public and it shows two robbers with crowbars equipped they went after the room where cash can be found They tried to get the door open, but was unsuccessful, and they ultimately left. Authorities are on the lookout.
This woman was going through a McDonald's drive through before noticing a vehicle riding her bumper. She didn't think much of this and proceeded. When she stopped, an individual exited the vehicle and this happened. Her doors were locked, but that didn't phase them as one of the men breaks the side mirror. Three hooded and armed individuals with weapons entered a Metro PCS store, and a robbery unfolds. They got access to the register and took all the cash. They even took belongings out of the clerk's pockets. The clerk was intimidated and was threatened not to alert the authorities. This happened at a gas station in Miami. The man with the red circle had on a $60,000 chain and quickly caught the attention of a nearby robber interested in his jewelry and then came a robbery that took just 30 seconds. If you blinked, you probably missed it, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Two armed individuals chose this Miami Metro PCS store as their destination to rob. With complete disregard for the customers, the thieves targeted employees, demanding money while the other kept watch. Getting his order wasn't enough for this sick man as he tries to abduct the barista. Take a look. He grabbed her and had a zip tie at hand. What a sick man. Past midnight. Two masked men target an ATM using a crowbar to access the inside. They then use the truck to forcefully open the vault. This only took 20 seconds. Not like this, not like this. So this, this is different. You know, you're used to seeing people take the whole machine, you know, and, and that type of thing. So they're, they're getting a little, little more uh, intelligent in how they're, they're committing these crimes. Crime doesn't pay, you know, they may get away with it for now, but eventually they do get caught. So I wouldn't want to have that on, on, on my shoulders for sure. What's crazy is this wasn't their first rodeo. They did the same thing at a credit union. They apparently stole at least $80,000. Authorities are on the lookout and banks are buffing up security. Hopefully they get caught. Authorities were called to this McDonald's due to an unusual incident with this car not moving for an extended period of time. The woman was passed out, and to make things worse, a one-year-old toddler was in the back seat, terrified. Clearly high up something. She's still in the car? Yeah, she's still in there. And the baby's just sitting there looking. She ordered food and you see the baby's back there. Ma'am. Ma'am. Hey, Mary the police, ma'am. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Hmm? Hey, stop reaching. What's going on? You're really tired? 
Yeah, go ahead and turn the car off for me real quick. Turn the car off for me I'm real quick. For turn the car off first for me, okay? Can you hand me the keys real quick? Yeah. Can I find my glasses really fast? Give me your I keys first, man. Hi. Hey. Smile. You're gonna be all right, okay, buddy? You're gonna be all right. It breaks my damn heart, brother. This is. Dude, I, I had never seen anything like that, so I have no idea. Officers found substances, which brings us to assume she was high. This makes her a danger, not just to the road, but to her young one as well. There's a lot that goes into gas stations. More than you think. But what happens when things go wrong? In Westchester, a car crashes into the gas station out of nowhere right into the pump. The bystander wisely ran away as flames erupted. He could have got away, but he showed compassion, saving the man who crashed. Before you knew it, both cars were gone. Terrifying situation. One afternoon, a T-Mobile store was raided by a masked individual who used his weapon to guide staff to the back, demanding an iPhone 6 and a Galaxy phone. One man is on the ground while the ladies stuff the bag with phones. The thief then had the employees open the back door for an easy escape. Police in Australia are on the lookout for a man seen in a blue polo shirt who held a blockbuster clerk at knife point. He demanded money and the employees gave it to him. He firstly walks around a couple of the aisles, around to the back shelves, and then when he checks that there's no other customers nearby, he approaches the front counter and then he's shown the knife to the sales assistant and demanded the money. This was uploaded 10 years ago, so hopefully this sicko got caught. In this video, a masked man entered a gas station with a weapon in an attempt to rob the store. The robbers scared the clerk into giving him the money, which I would say is a wise move. Watch this, the robber was never caught, but hopefully he will be soon. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.